Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver, and welcome to World of Horror Episode 2. Now, on the last episode, we didn't stretch the screen, so you saw that old-style computer... Computers... Nah, nah, nah. That old-style computer monitor. I don't want your screens and televisions to burn in, so we stretched it to the screen in the options menu. And uh, we're gonna rock with this color palette. I haven't played with the color palette before. I think it's kind of neat how you got like the, the purple going on. Uh, but last time we did an extracurricular activity run, and I was a bit worried to jump into the main the main game. So I've played about <laughs> played about five hours in my off time, and uh, we're gonna actually hit it with a customized playthrough. And so as you can see here, I've unlocked. Uh, B and A, and I also unlocked the more students thing, but those are just costumes, those are just cosmetic items. It's cool, I man. Remember when all games had stuff like this, where you just unlocked things instead of buying them in a microtransaction store? I know, right? It's been a while since you see something like that. But, uh, so we're picking our seed here, so if you want to play along at home, we're gonna run with a... Q T Z I F seed and send it. So I'm not going to read the story because I believe if you want to see that yourself, then you should play the game. It's really good. I highly recommend it. But uh, I'll I'll read stuff that I haven't seen before, I suppose. But. I guess I'll read the start in I haven't really decided yet to play it by ear. But anyways, I just realized... Can you see my cursor? Like, I just realized I've got a cursor in the game, and then I've got a cursor, like, my actual mouse cursor. And that's... That's driving me insane. I can't imagine what it's doing to you at home. But anyway, so we got... Some characters here. And we're gonna win... We're gonna win with all of them. And we might as well start with the default character, or at least the one on the far left, Kairi Minami. She is the wizard character in the game. I believe she's the, yeah, she's the transfer student. So, we're gonna play on normal difficulty. And going into the extra options here, we are going to use all perk cards. We are going to keep the content randomized, and we are going to do timeline one. Give it a little send here. And then we get to choose our Eldritch God. So, I actually can't remember who he got last time. I think it was Ath Yalazith. So, let's not do him. Let's do... I wish there was a random button here, but there is not. This just gives you a little tutorial prompt. So, let's just start on the far left as well. Let's just go down the list. Let's go against... Uh, Kathak Atasaru, the Spider God. Kathak Atasaru is once again awakening from its slumber. Blinded by its impossible to satisfy hunger, it has started to tear down the walls of its cocoon prison. Stop it before it devours us all. So, with uh, Kathak Atasaru, this lad over here, he prevents, it, prevents you from escaping from combat. So normally, how uh, escape works in this game is you can run away from combat, but you increase your impending doom. But before we do that, can I get this mouse, this freaking mouse cursor off my screen? Like this is, this is, I don't mean to, this is gonna, I want it to go away, man. Hold on, if I do this, it goes away, dude. That's not fair. If I stretch it to screen, hold on. So if I stretch it to screen and then I choose A, and we go back. No, it's still there. Whoa! Okay, um... Is that, does that work for you guys? No, you got black bars now, dude. What on earth? Okay, so unfortunately... You've gotta deal with either the black bars at the top or the bottom, or my mouse cursor on the screen. So hold on, let's try something else, okay? Okay, we're gonna go in here. I don't know if you can go into the options menu. Uh, how about give it one of these? You 
gotta be kidding me. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro. I disabled the ability to see my mouse cursor, but I guess it can't update like that. So, uh, I'll do a little, uh, playing around with it in the, uh, interim period. I hope I didn't mess up something. But we're gonna, city history, we're gonna ignore this for now. I believe we're playing with the default backstory. I actually didn't select that. So let's just go home. And our mailbox is empty. And we have... So, I don't know if this is intended at all or not, but you can take a bath, and you can hit warm water to gain a little, uh, little bonus of five experience, which is very nice. And we can go in here, and we can, uh... change our clothes. So I've unlocked a 6OS Teen Witch Casual Shirt Transfer Girl. Well, you know, we're, we're, we're cash. Is that, is that what people say? Cash? Cash wear? I'm, I'm, I don't know. Let's just get into this. I'm just saying random garbage, which I'm going to be saying for the rest of the game. Okay, so we've got the freaky feature of found footage. I haven't seen this in a while, actually. Uh, vicious verses of a violent vigil. Alarming account of abnormal arms. Curious case of a contagious coma. And spine-chilling story of school scissors. So these are actually... Got a couple hard ones here. Uh, vicious verses can be pretty nasty. Uh, contagious coma can absolutely suck. And uh, spine-chilling story, it can be pretty bad. But let's just start with... An abnormal count of abnormal arms. An abnormal account. I apologize. So, we have to investigate the hospital twice, and then we can go about the game. Uh, you're stopped by a masked man wearing a lab coat. We don't have any... I'm just gonna decline. We don't have any injuries. Although that's normally a great thing to do. And, uh, just give it a little send there. We did get a spell called the Kanapha Ritual, I believe. Uh-oh. Ribcage woman, huh? I believe this just gives us a... Oh, no. Oh, this is a ritual. When your allies die, a random status gets raised by one. It's very interesting. We could potentially do something fun with that. Um, so, the invisible web prevents you from running. Okay. Uh, where? Here we go. So we can improv, and then we can't... We cannot dodge. So, kick the ghost. Okay, so we did get the best improv weapon in the game, the broken bottle. It's, I mean, it's not that good, but it's got a, a semi-decent chance to hit. So we can do, uh... So this is seven, but we could do, like, nine, right? Oh, no, we can't. We can do six, so... We give that a little send there, and we can buff it twice. So I think since it's such a high percentage, we can... Spread it out here, we shouldn't miss. And then... Can we guarantee... I think that gets us there. It's like a 7% chance to miss. I don't think that was gonna really screw us over at all. So, you know, the hospital can be a pretty... The investigation is starting to take a toll. How do you address your weakened state? Honestly? Let's, uh... Jog around the block? I don't think I've ever did- I've ever done that before. Strength check, failure. So, if you guys don't know how the- the checks work in this game, I believe- obviously I don't know for a fact, but- I believe two dice are rolled. And if you go higher than the stat that you have, you fail. So, Two dice were rolled, so we got a 12. Uh, two d6s were rolled, so we got 12, which means we automatically fail the uh, strength check. So I didn't actually know that was a strength check, because I've never done that. I always just sleep. Uh, so I believe if you raise a stat to 12, you can never fail. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I, I think that's how it works. Anyways, we can share our experience with our boy, Mr. Triple O. We can let him come up with his own stuff, or... Well, what's that picture? So... 
I'm not entirely sure what this is. This is one of the things that I haven't uncovered about this game at all. There's something truly evil, and it kind of, like, stalks you, I guess. And if it's truly evil enough, you get... I don't know. Hang up immediately on that loser. You never want to see that guy. He always just, he always just kind of gets in the way. Man, read the letters. Uh-oh. Uh, I've never seen that before. You've attracted the attention of something truly evil. Rolled a three out of six. So, I don't actually... We're probably gonna... If we do a cold bath, we're probably gonna fail it. But at the same time, it's like... Who dares wins, right? Oh, absolutely. We got completely destroyed there. So, if we rolled a five, we would have passed. Oh, gosh darn it. Putting your hand in that hole was a bad idea. Seeing the big spider escape, you hope it wasn't poisonous. So I think we just gotta immediately give this a little send here. Because the bite can get infected, and it can minus your dexterity, which is no good. Discharge summary gives us plus 20 experience, which is pretty fantastic. Especially because we... Ah, oh, perception check failure. Minus two funds. So we give the boiler room a little send here. You enter the dark boiler room and trip over a pipe, causing cursing. My bad. You find a light switch. Gasp and horror. It's not a pipe at all. It's a long, rubbery arm coiling around the room and ending in a ventilation shaft. Coming closer, you can smell something vile and rotten. Oh. It's alien, dude. You almost fell to the ground when you see the wide open stare at the dead pervert. His elongated limbs stretching and disappearing in the vent's darkness. Inside his mouth, you find a tiny key. So, the old god stirs. Click here to reveal its effect. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Contaminated water? You hate to see that. So, by the way, in the last video that I made, this is completely outdated now, uh, the developer fixed the issue with the uh, lighthouse keys. So you just, whenever you get a lighthouse key, it goes up there. It can no longer disappear. They've prevented the soft lock from occurring, so that's nice. So, I'm trying to figure out, like, what something truly evil is. I, I genuinely don't know. Inside a figurine, you find some money. That's, that's incredible. I heard some people say that you could press the space bar to figure out what you could click on, but that must be absolute nonsense. So, because we got the tiny key, let's go to the spine-chilling story of School Scissors. Now, this is probably the thing that determines the run. So, this event is very special. One, this is the first event in the game that you play, if you follow uh, what the game actually says. Actually, we don't need the friend's diary, because we are going to fight the, uh, the scissor, the woman with scissors, and we are not going to do the ritual. We are not going to do the ritual properly, I should say. So, the kendo helmet is a great find. Um, so I believe we check out the school lockers here. And we can grab a free baseball bat. And if we use the tiny key here, we get the sports rifle. And we're not going to equip the sports rifle right away. But when you get the sports rifle, you get two bullets. And uh, that's going to make the fight very easy. So suddenly, everything slows to a crawl, huh? Well... He does one all damage. That means he's going to hit us both in our stamina and our reason. So I think we can only hit him twice. So seven damage is the best bet we got. It's very unlikely we miss. I was not jinxed. Thank you for not jinxing me. I appreciate it. Or, well, thank you myself for not jinxing me. And we're just going to take some damage, you know. I'm a big Arc Noir guy, so damage rushing is incredibly uh, normal in my world. We're gonna give a little level up here, 
and we have random perks so we actually have parting gift and that's anatomy class anatomy class is actually huge so we're gonna get anatomy class and dexterity you might not think it's that good, but being able to deal extra damage, I believe this means deal one extra damage to human enemies. Not entirely sure, but uh, let's peek outside. What could go wrong? I just wanted to say hello, he slammed the door on me. Can you believe that? Anyways, if we go explore the school. Whoa, you enter the damp smelling sport wing. You notice a backpack drifting on a swimming board in the middle of the pool. Could it be what you were looking for? Suddenly, you realize you're not alone in the pool. Okay, let's just absolutely waste this guy. I hate him. This is actually the first enemy that I've ever seen in this game. Which is why I had that reaction. I absolutely hate this guy. I mean, hold on. Actually, if we do... This? I think we can dodge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah! He hit us anyways. Oh, okay, we can't prep, so... Actually, I think we can just do... Same thing as prepping, basically, because it's a 100% chance to hit. And we didn't get any debuffs there, right? Okay. So, actually, I said we don't need the friend's diary, but there is a incredibly unlikely chance that the sigil is already correct. So, let's just make sure that that's not okay. I think we can both agree that that's not correct. Now, we can't start the ritual until we get the good old-fashioned... We're going to take a detour. That's just doom, right? Yeah. It's not a stat check. You hear the sound of scissors getting louder. You must hurry. Oh, you insist. Um... This door shouldn't be there. It shouldn't lead anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. I mean, honestly, resist it. Eh, not good. Okay. So, we actually have a very high chance of dying here. Potentially. Because, uh, we, uh, <laughs> only have four stamina, and I think she does two damage to all? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The sigil and holy candles don't seem to have any effect. Prepare for combat. Okay, we got to kill her in two turns, which we can absolutely do. Okay, so this is a 72, so we give that a 90, and then we give that a... Oh, can't do that. Okay. I said there was a chance that we could die, but I forgot that she's incredibly weak. Ancient horror lies dead on the classroom floor, slowly dissolving into nothingness. The only thing left at her are the large scissors. You stare at them, unsure what to feel. Something tells you you want to keep them. You need them. Very slowly, you pick up the scissors and your mouth widens in a smile. Spine-chilling story of school scissors ending B. It's a one run, boys. <laughs> oh, the fetid fumes make it hard to breathe. I don't actually know what that does. Anyways, we just have, uh, we have the cursed scissors now. Small chance of raising doom after attacking, but it's, um, completely and utterly broken, so it's all right with me, if it's all right with you. So, I don't, I don't know what something truly evil is. I really want to know, because there's a counter for it, but I, I've heard people talk about it, but ooh. Oh, we can't bathe, that's right. Yeah, no, we can't bathe. Black sludge in the water, turning the, the friggin' frogs into, uh, you know what, I don't want to get murdered off of, uh, YouTube, so I'm not gonna finish that sentence. Uh, let's go! I mean, these are not, these are goddamn nightmares. Like, these... I guess we'll do a vicious... No. We gotta do this one. And, uh, we're gonna get pretty messed up here regardless. So, investigate the village... I mean, sure. We'll investigate the village twice, which is a bit bad because, well, the village has, hmm. Okay, so we're gonna use, ah, crap, I meant to equip that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. 
Uh, we have a chance of, uh... Hey, get out of here, Super Hang Spyware. I know! Dude, I hate... I hate the village so much. The village is where horrible things happen. You don't... You don't go to the village. Um... Here's the thing. We can sell the baseball bat. We don't need it. I don't think we have any bullets anymore. Yeah, that's right. We don't have bullets, so we can sell the sports rifle as well. Five freaking buns, dude. Anyways, let's go to the... We don't have anything to cure, so let's just go buy some stuff. Now... Is the music looping over each other? Pretty sure it is. Let's buy the painkillers, and then let's head down to the doggo. And... I think... We're not gonna equip it, but we're gonna hold on to it for... Actually, I'm pretty sure we can equip this, and then if a fight starts before, like, we actually click on the fight, we can, uh... Be pretty fine there. So let's just get on with the investigation itself. Uh-oh. Uh, tall woman with an unsettling face, twitching lip stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? You know what? Absolutely. Teacher asks for help. I'll help. Oh, key dog. So we can check his wounds for clues. You know what? We're going to... I never actually thought of this before. Let's, let's steal the gun. <laughs> and then, uh, we should be able to go into item storage. And we'll put the... Oh, let's see, use the painkiller. Um, but take the police revolver and then just sell it, right? Yeah. You love to see that. Uh, investigate the hospital. Uh, let's not ruin the calm moment. That's a plus reason. And then... Let's rest at our home. We've got plus one stamina. You know what? I hate it. But it's gonna be pretty rough. So we're gonna rest, I think, another time. Which, yeah, that's rough. That's 12% doom. Oh, come on, brother. I just rested for that reason. Well, we gotta level up out of it. So we can improvise, get core strength, or... I mean, honestly, give me core strength. All combat moves do an extra point of damage. You, you love to see that. Uh... Patient Zero's house seems empty. You should progress carefully. So I'm gonna... Ooh, Dark Forces scheme against you. I think... This is actually fine, because there's something we can do later. We have to dust his seeing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gosh darn it, dude. So, here's a here's a neat little thing, right? Entering the pharmacy, it doesn't tell you this, but entering the pharmacy raises doom. But entering the doctor's office and getting cured does not raise doom. So, stable condition, you absolutely love to see it. I mean, you can really get screwed with these things, so... You wanna... I think we equip the kendo helmet now. It's like a uh, one or two. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Move to the corridor, take an elevator. Check out the patient room. Uh, enter the morgue. The morgue's closed. I don't know, I, I, I'm not even supposed to be here. Uh, leave, let, let, me out of, let me out of this nightmare. Uh, go to the doctor, exit. <laughs> it's the only way to do it without incurring a, a doom penalty. Oh, it's a freaking vampire, dude. <laughs> and uh, we're pretty much guaranteed to kill the vampire, so get absolutely destroyed. And uh, Quarantine Wing it is. By the way, this video is sponsored by non-sweetened coconut milk. Excuse the, the sipping and the gulping there. I drank all of my water, and I was too lazy to get more, so I just have this... Uh, Oh my. Dude, this is like... This thing, I don't know why, but it reminds me of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It just, it does. Uh, let's do... I mean, we win, but like... 
how badly do we want to win, you know? Like, you want to be greedy? Let's get greedy. Ah, uh, so we have to attack him twice anyways. So let's just prep, attack, and prep, attack. So he's dead, dude. And every time we swung this weapon, we uh, have not raised doom. In fact, we just lost a bunch of doom for whatever reason. Oh, by the way, the creature's severed body has left only a finger. Excuse me. The friendly dog has disappeared last night. You will need to find a new place to buy. You, you hate to see that. You know, something truly evil is stalking us. I really don't know what it is. I want to turn off the lights. We were shocked by what she did. Don't have any VH VHS tapes to watch. Oh! Dude, I know how to get some VHS tapes. But I don't know how to repair them. Yo, let's go. So, we can do a violent vigil or a freaky... We're gonna do... A violent vigil now. Because... I mean, it's... This is it's not good. To be real with you. But, uh, search the room, please? It's not... That's not great. Um... Yeah, the old man's body is in the other room. So this is probably my least... Oh, man. We could legitimately die here. Yo, can I have a pamphlet? Thank you. Store this. Don't need that. Um, pray over the body. Clap, 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 clap. Give him four claps. Yo, inspect his foot. Yo, just give him a send, dude. Just clap for your dead uncle. <laughs> oh, God. So, I think... You feel watched. Retreat. Dude, we're actually gonna die. And that, uh, that sucks. Check out the supper, huh? No, I don't think I... You know what? Sure. It's the stamina check. Hey, give me the meat cleaver. Give me that freaking meat cleaver, dude. What are we supposed to do now? A modest supper? Uh, clap, clap, bow, clap. Wait, is that right? Is that right? 12 p.m. Clap, clap, bow, clap. Yeah, yeah. Clap, clap, bow, clap. And then uh, give it a little send here. There's a lot of reason checks here. Uh, rifle through the cupboard, please. She's found us at last. Danka. Oh, so we got the, uh, feed the plant with some blood. That's right. Oh, hey, look. It's midnight and Uncle's missing. Uh, oh, hey, look. Everybody's gone. Oh, hey, look. Everybody's, everybody's gone. Let's, let's find him, dude. And hopefully not get, uh, killed. Oh, God. Um. Sure, let's, uh, check out the table. We need one. We need one piece of EXP. We need one piece of EXP and we're fine. So as long as we don't die here. Oh God. He's a cult member, dude. This is 16. So I think what we can do is this, this, and oh no. If we can just guarantee, oh crap. Wait, no, we can, we can guarantee the, the kill, right? No, we can't. So we do have to leave a little bit of it up to chance. Absolutely destroyed. Curious statuette. Hold on, hold on. Oh, we can't access our storage. That's right. Can't access our freaking storage here, dude. We're free. Parting gift. Regain one stamina for all past skill checks. You love to see it. Give me that plus four reason. 
So you're saying there's a chance. Who's that? So 2 a.m. I can't remember what we're supposed to do at 2 a.m. We're supposed to feed the plant with blood, right? So instead, uh, let's cut the plant down. Because uh, screw you, plant. I actually legitimately don't know what I'm doing. So I've never been able to cover the me Oh, fight it, fight it, dude. <laughs> oh, what the hell, dude? The temperature abruptly drops and you shudder. In the icy cold, you find yourself in the middle of a snowy wasteland. A sudden gust flings you to your knees. You inhale deeply, feeling your chest tighten and ache. Your, free if your fingers are freezing and you are already numb and freezing. I think these are all strength checks, so move towards the pyramid. God damn it. We have frostbite, which is... My okay, frostbite's perfectly fine. Tiny cuts are perfectly fine. Paranoia. Entering the dark room, you spot Hawato and his wife hugging each other. Oh, no. Hawato's dead, dude. He's dead. And we just killed him. Well, looks like uh, we failed that. So, uh, get sent. Whoever's here. And, uh... Thank you. You're, you're welcome, Uncle. Hate that event. That's probably my least favorite mystery in the game. I'm so freaking confused by it. Cut off from the outside world. Take the key. So. I mean, we gotta. And we can't. Uh, ah, freaky feature found footage, dude. So. Friendly dog is gone. So the only place we can go is the hardware store. Sure, why not, right? Uh, a can of acid. A crowbar. Ooh. Oh, a shovel, huh? I don't think um, we need anything like this. Uh, let's buy the can of acid, because why not? I mean, what, are you saying an 18-year-old witch doesn't need a can of acid? Who are you to tell her that she can't have her can of acid? No, not that kind of acid. Freaking weirdo. Let's go to the schoolyard and threaten somebody. Student shoves you away and escapes scream for help. Let's uh, recruit some people. <laughs> These people are giving me minus stats, huh? Well, uh, bye. Oh, I guess I, I can't kill him. Can I, can I please kill? I cannot kill? I'm paranoid and I cannot kill? How dare you? How? How dare you? I am paranoid and I can't kill them. Unbelievable. Anyways, let's investigate the mansion twice. Probably gonna rest a lot. Oh, uh... Hold on. Uh, who were... Uh... That was a 12, so even if we had the 8, we still would have failed it, so I don't feel... I don't feel too bad about that one, but we're gonna have to go... Oh, Jesus. Hey, look, it's a headless body. It does 3 reason damage, so, uh... We need to kill you immediately. Goodbye. Hey, black hair. Uh, legends say the witch was burned. It's a fantastic legend, dude. Can we rest? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, dude. We really can't afford to. Why am I keeping these people around? Take a peek, horrified. Um, look. There's something that I forgot to do, which is I there's an achievement for having a... Yeah, take the girl home. Why not? It's plus EXP. Uh, ghost connection, arcane grass, plus two additional... Whoa, you love to see that dexterity, huh? Um... Yeah, you know what? Let's get funky with it. <laughs> that's Dude, that's BS, by the way. What happened? I don't know what happened there, but... That's not... That ain't right. Anyways, I'm waiting for a fight, and I'm not gonna forget. Oh, an old priest is performing a ritual to appease a local demon in prison underground. You're invited to join? Sure! Uh... 
You've read about the ritual following the in intricate pattern of steps and bows and claps. Isn't a problem for you. Once the in ritual ends, the priest thanks you and hands over an item. A gruesome totem. Minus 10% doom. Minus 3. Max reason. By the way, we have like a totem or something? A curious statuette? Uh, let's just send the can of... No. Let's send the... Let's just use this. And then, uh... Give this little send here. And, uh, take the curious statuette. Because the curious statuette, I completely forgot, gives you knowledge when you're holding it. Now this sucks. <laughs> uh, let's start with the top left. Uh, yeah, sure, tap into his power, why not? Hey! What spell did we get? I see. We're gonna just forget that immediately. I don't, I don't want that bottom right. We circle from the exterior, and then we go in to the center after we've checked out the exterior. Hey, oh, gosh darn it. This is a strength check. <laughs> Please roll a one. Please roll a one. Oh, we rolled a nine, huh? You hate to see that. Well, okay. Just lose reason. No biggie. All right, finally. Discarded pile of carbon. So if we go to the, our allies over here, send them and uh, send them. So we just sent two people to their death and they uh, did one damage, both of them. So thanks, you really, you really helped me out here. So this is, we can do 24 damage. The max, yeah, the max is 24. So let's start off with a dodge because we can't kill him in, turn, in one turn anyways. So we have a 100% chance to hit. That's a 16, and uh, there ain't nothing else we can do there, so we can't prep for... So actually, it doesn't really matter, but we'll do that anyways. So you hate to see that. He got us. Hey, I think Doom raised there. So here's the thing. When we can fight, we basically are unstoppable. Uh, but when we can't fight, we're basically screwed. So, we're going to take the cassettes and run. <laughs> because a weird epidemic is uh, keeps the hospital busy. Oh no, not the coronavirus. Because if we go into our storage, forest tapes, uh, let's put away the... I mean, sure, we'll equip this for the... I don't think... Okay, we'll store the ring temporarily. We can't buy anything anymore. And that will come in handy, but we got the forest tapes. So let's go to the TV area. Let's send it with a cassette tape. We don't have any VHS tapes to watch. I guess they are broken, so I don't know how to fix them. I'm an utter buffoon. Uh, so what we do, take a peek for the people, just click out of the game. Hey, look, somebody's watching me through shadows. Who cares, right? So give me the nice ring, I guess. And there's nothing else I can really use here, so... We're in a weird spot, but I think we're gonna win. So... Let's just give it a little send there. Sorry for the flashing lights. So we're gonna rest for a bit. Okay, that's basically a one run right there. Eh, one more time. So, the lighthouse from everything that I have seen is just very easy. So, if you get to the lighthouse, you're probably going to win. Now, there is one thing that we have a chance to... Ah, okay. Equip, the, equip that and send it. Not enough charisma. Okay, give me back the... Ca give me back the, the... Give me back the gruesome totem, man. Okay, so we have to figure out what the second mystery we did here, and that was scissors. So that was the easiest money ever made. Uh, 
can I please equip the flashlight? No, nope. no, nope, can't can't equip the flashlight for whatever reason. I have to just kind of get screwed here. Um, yeah, sure, send me first aid. It doesn't really matter anyways. Uh, yeah, give me dexterity. Continue climbing. Hey, we did it, boys. Let's go. So, uh, send it. And, uh, that'll be World of Horror. Nice 40-minute run for you. Got two, uh, something -y truly evils. And, uh, the next day everything feels like a bad dream. Congratulations, you are safe for now. In this run, you managed to solve five mysteries. You saw 32 new events, you encountered nine new enemies, and you didn't unlock any new achievements. Which, um... I'm a bit mad at because I thought I sent those guys to their deaths, and I really needed that beep. So, anyways, I've been Web Weaver. You guys have been awesome, and I'll see you on the next episode of World of Horror. Have a good one. Peace out. <laughs>